we know how to do home delivery, no doubt. But doing this with EV truck was a, a very new thing for us. At the end of 2021, the project came over to, to me in regards to uh, adding EV trucks from the Montreal region for IKEA. We started them in winter, which was kind of challenging. Uh, when we started, we had a range of 250 kilometers. Due to some technical issues at the beginning, we tried to keep them in 120 kilometers. We knew winter, uh, we needed to adapt the driving and, and get to know the trucks better. Lots of discussion with Lion on, on this. We, we got very, very strong support from them. During spring, we saw that the range was 320 kilometers. So we are pushing them a little bit further, a little bit more on the summer. So we actually get them out of the island, coming back to the island of Montreal. We found out that it takes a lot of energy if you, if you use the highways too much. But really for us, this is a good scenario because our deliveries are local, like 150 kilometers per day. We also already were good at measuring the weight and, and making sure the trucks are used at the best uh, cubage and we need to figure out if we're going to have exchange product coming back non-delivered because of customer being absent from home so all this is considered the day prior Puis avec le nouveau projet camion électrique, ma job était de leur enseigner comment utiliser les camions électriques pour être sûr de bien les utiliser, euh, de, de maximiser le plus l'autonomie la, du camion et la performance du camion. Dès qu'on engage un chauffeur, puis qu'on lui dit qu'ils vont, qu vont chauffer des camions électriques, bien les chauffeurs, oui, ça, ça crée un « ah oui, pour vrai, ah ben oui, ça me tente », puis oui, euh, indirectement, euh, les chauffeurs veulent venir travailler avec nous. Our teams are saying, hey, everybody's looking at me, I look like a star today. So they're proud of, proud of driving these trucks. So their morning routine, when they come in, first of all, they're going to do a visual inspection, make sure that the previous driver, there was no uh, damage on the truck, so if anything, they're going to report it. Of course, they have to check if everything is charged to 100%, and then comes the security check. So they make sure that the tires are inflated, so just like a sound check, make sure that there's nothing disconnected, and that's pretty much the routine in the morning. We're proud because we started with certain issues we needed to fix, and now we are familiar. It would be much easier for us to, to introduce more trucks because now we have the experience.